My name is uh, Giovanni Stellin. I'm a professor of cardiac surgery at the University of Padova. I've been involved in this program uh, since uh, the year 2004. Uh, this program was started by the Archimed, the uh, German NGO, and I've been invited by the German NGO, and together, you know, we grew, made this program growing until what we're doing right now. Um, so it's been almost 20 years that uh, we have been coming here. Unfortunately, we, have, um, we haven't come back since uh, 2019 because of the COVID. However, we, made a, uh, we have been uh, uh, working just to uh, repristinate our missions and repristinate what we want to do. To come here to Eritrea, to Asmara, to operate on children who are born with a cardiac problem and fix them in order to have those children to have a normal life. The last 20 years here in our setup, uh, 1,600 patients were operated. So this uh, large number, uh, it's a very uh, huge number and a very successful mission has been done in the last 20 years. So this mission, uh, it was done by the expatriates coming from, from Germany from Italy to two missions from Padua and Massa and from the Switzerland. Uh, the, uh, the team coming every year once so that we were accomplishing operating uh, at least 80 to 100 patients a year. So this was a large number for our population. It was satisfying and we were having this successful mission in the last uh, 20 years. We have a group of uh, 24 uh, clinician for this mission because uh, we have uh, around uh, eight nurses then we have a uh, two perfusionist we have four anesthesiologists three cardiac surgeon four cardiology so we are a, a huge staff these in this country uh, we have uh, we collaborate at the time that we are here with uh, dr. Zagareda for screening and for indication for surgery. And then we have also to uh, control after the, surgical, uh, after the surgical approach. Medicine is always a learning process. It's not only service delivery. So the, the team uh, to accomplish a cardiac mission, you need at least 20 uh, experts in the field starting from the cardiac surgeon, cardiologists, intensivists, perfusionists, nurses in, uh, in different fields, in the nursing field, in the ICU, in the uh, OR, and in the anesthesia. So this team, whenever they are coming, they are working with the Eritrean local staff together. Uh, they are not working alone. So always there is exchange of ideas, exchange of uh, techniques, so that uh, you will have the in-service training in place. So the, the exchange uh, ideas is always there. In order to perform a, a heart surgery in children is uh, very complicated. And you need a team of experts. And the, the expertise, of course, uh, comes from year here of training. It is obvious that uh, what we're trying to do is not to come here and just operate on children making survival, which is a good thing though. Nevertheless, our aim is to continue the education. We need to exchange knowledge with the local people, make them growing, and hopefully one day uh, this country will be able to provide normal care to the children with a heart defect without any help from us. And currently we are uh, on a mission with the cardiac team which is coming from Padova, Italy. And uh, for the past few days we have been engaged in, uh, in uh, several complicated cardiac surgeries, including open heart surgeries, which involve complicated uh, bypass machines. And the past several years, unfortunately, this is a pandemic, this program has been halted, but at the moment it's fortunate we are uh, uh, we have resumed our uh, program and uh, starting from Saturday up to today uh, uh, averaging two to three procedures per day as you can imagine it's a very complicated procedure it's including an open heart procedure with 
involving children with several congenital malformations and uh, several valvular problems of the heart. So mm, we have been uh, performing successfully uh, all the procedures uh, successfully with no post-operative complications. So mm, I am uh, fortunate to say that it's, it's uh, a good uh, uh, program and it's a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, mm, opportunity to be here with the team and we are also learning more uh, complicated procedures from the senior professor. Professor, I would like to thank him, uh, Professor uh, Giovanni Stellini. We have been uh, performing with them, assisting with them, and sometimes even doing the complex procedures by ourselves. So it has been a very interesting program here. Both the German under the umbrella ArcMed and ourselves under the umbrella of this new association with, which is called Med Action Bambini, and uh, we do believe that uh, we need to continue to, our, uh, to transfer our knowledge and to continue our educational program in order to make these people growing and, as I said, one day perhaps become totally independent. We are ready to come and help any time, once, twice a year. We need to hire another team now because uh, Dr. Urban and uh, he's a little bit old, so he retired from the team. So we need a European team alternating to come here and to teach and to fix the children. In addition, our program for the last 20 years has been educational. We have invited many people, including Dr. Josef, including Dr. Zagareda, who have come to Padova more than once for training, and that made it improving. Usually when we come here, we bring with us uh, books, uh, scientific, scientific papers and uh, lecture, so they have time to to read, to study, and then uh, we show us also how we do in the in the in the cases in the in the real cases, and uh, yes, the, but now is time to become a little bit brave and uh, and start. I'm uh, Dr. Elvisa Tosoni. I am a pediatric intensivist, and uh, so that's my um, uh, speciality, and that's what I'm doing here. I have been lucky um, because uh, I, I think I took part uh, probably uh, to a dozen of these uh, surgical missions here in Asmara since I was a resident. So I've seen this program not from the very beginning, but I've seen it uh, uh, growing and uh, producing excellent results. Uh, what I'm going to say is that uh, uh, you can be proud uh, because here in this location we as a team and uh, with the help of uh, local health professionals we were able to carry out uh, um, surgical interventions, interventions that uh, are uh, very complex and that would be very complex uh, also in a, a more technologically advanced hospital. Uh, which means that uh, even, the, even if there is, like, uh, uh, of course, a technological gap here, uh, this kind of surgery is possible. Okay? Um, of course, there is a, a long chain of collaboration, uh, which starts with the local people, and uh, I'm referring to uh, the uh, pediatricians and the pediatric cardiologists, which are fundamental for the screening of the patients. And uh, Dr. Segareta is doing an excellent job, and uh, so is screening the patient and proposing the patient that need uh, more urgent surgery. And uh, um, this chain of collaboration then uh, um, uh, carries on with a huddle between uh, the uh, uh, pediatricians, the intensivists, the anesthesiologists, and the surgeons to plan the best uh, uh, therapeutic surgical options for the patients. Of course, uh, it requires sometimes difficult decisions, okay? Even deciding which, uh, who, which patients uh, will have surgery and other patients, they cannot have a surgery. And uh, what I'm gonna say is that uh, I can see there is a great potential here in terms of human resources, uh, because I can see uh, in nurses and I can see in young doctors that are uh, hungry of knowledge and exposure and to build expertise. Probably I would say that uh, 
This is a highly, highly, highly specialized field of medicine because uh, uh, the pediatric uh, cardiovascular surgery is uh, very, very complex. It's not something that you can learn uh, in five days. That is unfortunate. So you have uh, such a short and intense um, exposure, and then you have uh, a lag of time that is too long to maintain and build up on, on expertise. So we've been wondering a lot of time what we could do more uh, in order to leave here the expertise uh, so that uh, this, uh, at some point uh, we we'll start uh, to become a more and more, more independent surgical program. We are always ready to tell you, uh, for example, this mission, they came on the 27th of May. When they are coming, uh, we, uh, we will prepare patients for, in most probably, they will be operated or screened. We are not presenting all of them, okay? For example, uh, for 10 days, uh, we screened about 250 patients on cardiac uh, evaluation alone. So from these 250, we will prepare for the operation in the next mission. It's not only this mission where they are operating. So uh, more or less, uh, within this one week, uh, we have operated about 12 patients. So out of 250 screened, 12 patients were uh, operated. The operation is very uh, time consuming and you cannot take more than two patients a day. So this is uh, the type of uh, just uh, collaboration we are doing. Unless you prepare them, unless you call them, unless you are ready to screen and just to, to put a short list for the intervention or screening, uh, the mission will not be uh, working. So they are coming in a place where everything is settled. So everybody is ready here in the setup. So that, that kind of collaboration is done. Unless the local staff is there to collaborate and work, the, the mission who are coming for 10 days uh, might not be uh, feasible. So the, the readiness and the, 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 the preparation from the local setup is very important, especially for cardiac surgery and the screening. So this kind of collaboration is done. Maybe the, the, uh, the, the cardiac mission is very time consuming. It's not only time consuming, it's also expensive. Expensive to have such kind of operation. So uh, thanks to the government of Eritrea and the Ministry of Health to make this, this mission successful. Unless we are ready, unless we are just uh, putting all the input in the place, uh, such mission is not uh, just uh, accomplished suc uh, yeah, successfully. When we came here first in, uh, uh, in 2004, there were already a few doctors involved. Now, uh, Dr. Joseph is in charge with our program, local program, and he is the one that is going to give us young doctors, you know, to join us and to make growing, growing, growing. You know, to become a pediatric cardiac surgeon, you need a long training. I trained for 10 years after the graduation to become a pediatric cardiac surgery. There is another thing I would like to tell you. Your young doctors are phenomenal. They are very, very good, very good. They come out from a very good medical school, very good knowledge, very motivated. And in addition, they speak very good English. So you guys in this country are doing something very good, you know. The only way to exchange with the other people is to first learn the language. Now, no one speaks Italian anymore, as you know. On the other hand, English is becoming the common language, so they speak very good, uh, very good English. And this means that people here are thinking of the future. In addition to that, they need to exchange knowledge for as much as they can. Usually, uh, our, um, our mission stays for 10, 12 days. You have to think that when we come here, we have to, to, um, to fix, to, to start with uh, intensive care, a semi-intensive care and then operating room and, uh, dot, and everything we need for the cardiopulmonary bypass. So it's a huge work. We need uh, an amount of devices, different devices. We need uh, a huge amount of different medication, sometimes also very expensive medication and uh, that are not so, um, so easy to, to find uh, around. 
but uh, so we need at least three or four days to set up all this stuff. After that, we have we end in the meantime the cardiologist uh, start with the screening together with Dr. Teresa Zagareda, and uh, uh, during this mission they they had the chance to uh, screen around uh, 150 around 200 uh, babies. Uh, and then we start and we select, we start with selection of uh, cases and we start with surgery. And, uh, and then, uh, and, and then we, we have to work in the intensive care to, to extubate the patient and uh, leave the patient here. In November, the other team will come. Hopefully, uh, from our side, we are ready to do whatever is required to make successful uh, such type of mission. And I, I, um, uh, I, I want to talk, uh, the Minister of Health is also ready in that aspect because we have got that kind of word from the uh, ministry. So uh, as long as they are coming, we are also ready to look forward for such type of missions. Obviously it's a very, uh, mm complex program which requires not only uh, cardiac or cardiothoracic surgeons but also the team includes multitude or multidisciplinary uh, setup like anesthesiologists, intensive care physicians, pediatric uh, pediatric physicians, ICU nurses as well as perfusionists as you can see. Uh, so human wise I say I can say that confidently at the moment we are ready takes obviously takes time and we have to gain more experience from them uh, and fortunately now that the pandemic is over we expect them to come regularly according to their previous uh, schedules and I'm quite confident to say that we can do it in a few years by ourselves. If I, I, if I, look, if I look at the future I see that uh, this will be the final goal okay not uh, like a, a not relying only on uh, missions from abroad. We, I have to say, when we come here, um, of course, uh, we, uh, we go back home with the enriched because we like coming here. Otherwise, we wouldn't come here every year. And uh, um, uh, we do that because uh, it's something that for us is, uh, is important, okay? And, uh, but I think the final goal is not just operating the kids, but uh, letting the, the people here taking care of their own population. That would be the final goal. And we will be extremely happy to assist in this process. Okay. And um, that's it. But uh, I have to say that uh, as of now, you can be proud of the results that have been uh, um, carried out uh, during these missions, not only our missions, but all the other missions that, uh, that come here and that what has uh, been achieved in this place. I would like to say that uh, this is a complicated program, obviously, but uh, uh, I, I convey my message to all uh, upcoming uh, physicians, including me, not only physicians, but also anesthesiologists, critical care nurses, uh, pediatric uh, residents, pediatric uh, doctors, uh, as well as uh, perfusionists to, uh, to keep what we are doing to stay strong and to learn uh, from every opportunity by the visiting, uh, uh, the visiting team. And uh, I also convey my message to all of uh, the team which are working hard at the moment and to keep what we are doing and I'm sure we can do it independently in the, in the near future.